What's up, guys? Joel Benavides, Block Squawk, the Block Squawk podcast. It is the 28th of February, 12.44 p.m., and this is a second take because I royally fucked up the recording levels the first time I did this about an hour ago. So here we are again. Uh, Fortunately, you do not have to suffer through all that. And we are going to see what's up with Bitcoin and the crypto market. Look, I was like recording some, I was like drawing some lines way down here in the minutia. And I just pulled out and I saw like this big line sticking out of the bottom. And I thought to myself, like that's, what is that if not like Bitcoin investor mentality? It's like to the fucking moon, chilling at the bottom. But you know, the the the, the moon is always imminent. I guess um, I guess it's a, the attitude that you have to have when you're like the baby boy on the block, right? So so fuck it. I'll uh, I'll I'll throw myself into that pile intermittently, uh, just to kind of be a a wannabe hopeful badass. So that's where we're going today on Block Squawk. We're going to the fucking moon, and there it is, proof positive. Just kidding. <laughs> no, we're not going to the moon. Actually, we're pretty far down deep into the weeds, but let's see what we can do about that, okay? I'm looking at a line chart right now uh, because I do I do like looking at candles, and candles are ex- incredibly helpful. Uh, but they show you a lot of extra information, and sometimes I just want the closing prices. And so... Uh, it's not it's not old fashioned it's just it's just a matter of viewing closing prices and so but let me pull the candles back up here there we go um and uh and yeah so there's there's bitcoin on bitmex uh at the bottom uh but there are some hopeful things if you look uh, at the last uh, the, uh, if you look at february right here Uh, It does look a little hopeful and depending on what you want to count as the uh, last high on the daily chart, we may have exceeded that. Now, um, we haven't quite hit the last bottom on the daily chart. So there, there may be some, some, some positive signs in short developing, but I want to be clear I'm not trying to predict anything. I'm not giving you any financial advice. This is not a financial advice podcast, and I'm not a financial advisor. Um, this is just uh, what Gary Vaynerchuk would call uh, document versus create. And that's precisely what we're doing right here. We're documenting rather than creating. So uh, let's run through, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Let's run through the the uh, coin market cap data real quick. Um, and I am going to bust out my watch list. I'm reading this off of Apogee Crypto. You're welcome to follow along with me on coin market cap. Uh, if, you're, if you're listening to the podcast, um, if you're watching on YouTube, I don't have it up on the screen right now. I'm going to leave the chart up just so you, can, you guys can ruminate on on this and think about what you've done go to your room and think about what you've done so uh but let's let's talk about uh a few choice coins and uh and we'll we'll move on and finish talking about the chart uh that's gonna be about it today um yeah so uh gas coming in at 100th by market cap by the symbol gas that's trading at three dollars and seven cents or three and seven uh, it's up 42.28% on the day and up 51.58% on the week. 24-hour traded volume was $42.7 billion. Well, actually, $42,731,223, but we're not going to go through all that. It's just going to be like 42 mil, 13 mil, whatever, right? Just to keep it simple. Because I'm already going through all these other numbers, and I'm not going to get all like highly technical with you guys. You want the numbers, you know where to get them. Um, okay, let's finish. 
Electronium ETN in at 66th by market cap, trading at 0.6 cents. That's down 3.47% of the day, down 5.53% of the week. 24 hour trade volume, 251,000. Gemini dollar GUSD in at 60th, trading at 99.3 cents, down 1.75% of the day, down 1.07% of the week. 24 hour trade volume, 6.4 million. Biden BTM in at 54th, trading at 8.9 cents, up 0.58% of the day, up 4.21% of the week. 24 hour trade volume is 2.5 million. Verge XVG in at 53 or 53rd by market cap. I should say trading at 0.5 cents down 0.88% of the day down 5.82% of the week 24 hour trade volume was 604,000 did you buy DGB in at 43rd by market cap trading at 1 cent down 0.16% of the day up 6.51% of the week 24 hour trade volume 619,000 Augur REP in at 40th, trading at $12.59, down 12.89% of the correction, two, down 2.89% on the day, down 8.47% of the week. 24-hour trade of volume was 3.4 mil. Icon ICX in at 39th, trading at 29.4 cents, up 6.76% of the day, up 21.11% of the week. 24-hour trade of volume was 24.2 million. Lisk LSK in at 38th, trading at 1 and 22, down 1.12% of the day, down 1.17% of the week. 24-hour 21, trade of volume, 21 true fucking 20 blah 24 hour trade of volume 2.8 million zero x by the symbol zrx and at 36 by market cap trading at 24.9 cents nearly a quarter uh down 4.73 percent of the day down 0.12 percent on the week and 24 hour trade of volume is 20.5 million quantum qtum that's in at 30th by market cap, trading at $2.07, down 0.79% on the day, down 0.82% of the week, and 24 hour trade volumes, 270.6 million. Basic attention, BAT in at 29th, trading at 16.3 cents, up 3.9% of the day, up 19.62% on the week. 24 hour trade volume was 18.1 mil. Dogecoin by the symbol Doge in at 25th, trading at 0.1 cents. That's down 1.42% of the day, down 2.5 points for the week. 24 hour trade volume, 19.1 mil. Tezos XTZ in at 24th fourth trading at 40.8 cents uh that's down 1.42 percent of the day down 7.45 percent of the week 24 trade volume was 3.2 million uh, v chain vet and at 23rd trading at 0.4 cents down 0.29 percent of the day up 0.7 percent of the week 24 trade volume was 9.4 mil ontology ont at 21st trading at 91.2 cents up 1.13 percent of the day up 25.7 percent of the week 24 trade volume is 54.8 mil moving into the top 20 now guys that we are now moving into the top 20 z cash by the symbol zec is in at 20th by market cap trading at $51.69 that is down one and a half points for the day down 3.57 percent for the week and 24 hour trade of volume was 198.6 million dollars NAM XEM in at 19th trading of 4.2 cents down 2.57 percent for the day down 1.43 percent for the week 24 hour trade of volume is 14.1 million ethereum classic etc in at 18th trading at 4 and 29 down 2.13 for the day down 4.42 points for the week 24 hour trade of volume 200.1 million neo by the same symbol in at 17th trading at 9 even down 1.57 percent for the day up 3.62 percent for the week 24 hour trade of volume 273.1 million maker mkr in at 16th Trading at 670 and 90, up 2.83% for the day, up 4.17% for the week. 24 hour trade of volume, 1.3 mil. Dash by the same symbol in at 15th. Trading at 83 and 66, up 1.96% for the day, down 1.69% for the week. 24 hour trade of volume, 274 million. IOTA by the symbol MIOTA in at 14th. Trading at 28.6 cents. That's down 0.33% for the day, down 4.84% for the week. 24 hour trade of volume, 7.7 .7 mil. Uh, Monero XMR in at 13th, trading at 49 and 58, down or just over half a point for the day uh, and down 1.92% for the week. 24 hour trade volume was 70.5 million. Cardano ADA in at 12th, trading at 4.3 cents, down 0.43% for the day, down 4.19% for the week. 24 hour trade volume, 18.4 million. Bitcoin SV by the symbol BSV in at 11th trading at 67 and 3 down 4.1% for the day up 2.79% for the week 24 hour trade of volume 110.3 million moving to the top 10 now guys let me catch my breath mm. Okay, Binance Coin, BNB in at 10th, trading at 10 and 39. That's up 4.02% for the day, down 0.3% for the week. 24 hour trade volume, 100.9 mil. Tron TRX in at 9, trading at 20. Correction, trading at. Tron is trading at 2.3 cents, gentlemen, ladies, gen, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that's down 1.7% for the day, down 4.04% for the week, and 24 hour trade volume on Tron, guys, was 165.2 million. 
Stellar XLM in at eighth by market cap, trading at 8.5 cents. That's down 1.32% for the day, down 4.3% for the week. 24 hour trade volume is 114.2 million. Tether USDT in at seventh, trading at one and one, down 0.3 points for the day, up 0.3 points for the week. 24 hour trade volume is 8.5 billion. And uh, Bitcoin Cash, BCH in at six, trading at 131 and 84, down 1.39% for the day, down 7.54% for the week. 24 hour trade volume, 310.3 million. And uh, Litecoin LTC in at fifth, trading at 46 and 27. That's up 1.82% for the day, down 5.81% for the week. 24 hour trade of volume, 1.1 billion. Uh, and EOS by the symbol EOS in at fourth by market cap, trading at three and a half, down correction up 2.1% for the day, down 5.5 points for the week. 24 hour trade of volume, 1.4 million. Moving to the top three now, guys. XRP by the same symbol, that's uh, Ripple in at third by market cap, trading at 31 and a half cents. That's down 0.3 points for the day, up 1.8 points for the week, and 24 hour trade volume of 767 million. Uh, Ethereum, of course, ETH in its second, trading at 137 and 21 cents. That's down half a point uh, for the day and uh, down 5.7 points for the week. Uh, 24 hour trade volume there, guys, was 4.9 billion. Uh, nearly 5 billion. And uh, lastly, of course, Bitcoin BTC in at first. Uh, Bitcoin's trading right now at $3,854.46, uh, just up uh, a, a, a hundredth of a percentage point over the last uh, 24 hours uh, and actually down 2.33% for the week. Uh, circulating supply is still hovering around 17.5 million. Market cap, actual market cap is uh, 67 uh a billion seven hundred sixty-seven million three hundred sixty-four thousand seven hundred ten, and uh, trading uh, a Bitcoin over the last twenty-four hours uh, has been uh, around eight point eight billion, eight point eight eight billion eight hundred thirty-two million three hundred ninety-seven thousand two hundred eight, and that is going to do it for uh, the squawk uh, of the coin market cap data. I'm going to leave that there. Let's take a look. Oh, you guys have been looking at it. I haven't. The chart over here. Um, and let me pull up the watch list. So right now, Bitcoin trading at $3,811 even. Um, and um, and so I really don't have a lot to say uh, other than, uh, like, I think my, my my biggest lesson, my big takeaway from 2018 was, uh, was just don't be long or short biased. Like, you know, um, yes, you know, have an, uh, have an opinion on market direction based off of the environment that you're operating in based off of like measurable facts uh but like i was saying at the beginning of the podcast you know don't be one of these like to the moon guys that's like bitcoin's going to the fucking moon you know like no matter where we are no matter what's going on guys for now we're in a bear market definitely in a bear market and those are the facts that we have in front of us and so um you know, even if we love Bitcoin or you made some money in 2017 or whatever, you know, it's okay to have like a, 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 like a long bias, like just in the belief of the technology. Um, but for me, I think I've learned that it's a bad idea to, 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 to put your money where your beliefs are without, without gauging the environment. And we are definitely in a bear market, have been for a while. Um, and that was confirmed, you know, back in December of 2018. You know, we had that huge drop off. Everybody was thinking we were going to consolidate, including me, and then break out to the upside. But that did not happen. We actually broke out to the downside. Thankfully, it wasn't as bad as it could have been. It wasn't as bad as we were all thinking that the breakout to the upside was going to be. Um, and, you know, you could take that as an embarrassment or you could take that as a learning experience. I think I think I want to take it as a learning experience, um, and uh, and here is really where I started thinking. Well, you know what? Maybe I'm gonna start doing research on on shorting this stuff, and, uh, and that's why I took a good chunk of uh, the beginning of 2019 off so that I can look into some of that stuff, deal with some personal issues, but mainly uh, drive home uh, my my need to document right trade journaling, right? Because if we're not documenting, we're not building a long-term plan and we can't measure whether we're sticking to that plan, right? And if you look at a lot of these interviews from these top traders on on these trading podcasts, 
you know, the top traders in the world will tell you over and over and over again, you know, that it's all about, you know, risk management and documentation, sticking to your plan, because otherwise it's just gambling and it makes sense and it's worth parroting again. Um, so, you know, we're all here as part of a learning experience and I'm not like here to do like a, like an interview based podcast. I just kind of wanted to do a squawk. I was fascinated with, uh, the marriage of crypto and, um, and and streams and stuff like that so i thought maybe i would just do a stream and then document it i'm still trying to find out where that's going to lead me uh but but uh, i wanted to make sure that i started documenting so that's what this is all about and uh and so with all that being said i didn't want to get ahead of myself when i was looking at this right and this is february guys what we're seeing right here so, you know, um, it, it could work out to the bull's advantage, but I'm not, I'm not ready to concede that yet. You know, this was a, these were a series of bull flags in consolidation. So flag pull consolidation or flag bull flag flag bull. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, bull pole, I should say. And then look what happened. We, we crashed here. Now we didn't quite make it all the way back down. So, okay, for those of you guys listening on the podcast, right, like on the 8th of February, we had a huge green candle and it shot us up from like uh, 3350 on up to about 3650, right, give or take. Uh, and then we consolidated, right? That's basically like your, your, your bull flag, right? That's a signal that, hey, we might be breaking out to the upside. And that's what happened, right? Uh, we broke out from like the 3600 area, 3630 area on up to uh, 3880 approximately, you know, and then the same thing happened. And then, you know, so we consolidated, there was another full form, fully formed bull flag and we did break out to the upside, but what happened immediately after, bam, we dropped down. Uh, we dropped down uh, on the 24th. So that was a series of two complete bull flags followed by a huge red candle few days ago on the 24th of February and that brought us all the way down from approximately 4120 on down to approximately 3730 right and so uh, and now we're consolidating now what happens after today I don't know uh, it looked kind of looked like a like a like a descending triangle kind of thing um, so uh, we'll be watching it but the overall trend Right. When you take all this stuff that's gone on in the February, look at the overall trend. It does kind of have like a bullish bias. Right. And it does, depending on what you want to count as like highs and lows, it does kind of beat out that forty one hundred top that we had back in uh, the eighth on the eighth of January. Um, but we still had a ways to go if we were going to beat you know, the, the top at, at what was it, uh, 4170 before it. So, I mean, we're just, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Um, we're definitely gonna have to beat uh, 5350, or I'm sorry, 4350 uh, for it to be sustainable. And we can't drop lower than approximately 3570, right? We can't start making those lower lows. Basically, as you all know, higher highs and higher lows is the game but i'm not here to uh decide whether that's going to happen or tell you that i think it's going to happen i'm just kind of noticing that it's been going on the last few days and and i really didn't catch it until recently because this first bull flag and its continuation were kind of part of a downward trend channel right that i had measured out um earlier and so I was kind of waiting to see if that was going to play out, you know, and uh, and when it when it kind of glided out of that trend channel, I think maybe that energy may have pushed us even higher, uh, even above the 100 day moving average. I think, we're, yeah, yeah, we're above the 100 day, still well below the 200, but uh, we were chilling up there above the 100 MA for a while on the daily chart. So that, that's significant. And there's some significant things going on here, guys. I don't want to undercut it, but I, I want to make sure that I'm paying attention to my own principles and my own lessons learned from, from 2018. And that's, that's where it is, and that's where it stands. 
Uh, I'm going to be keeping an eye on support and resistance levels, especially important ones that have played out over and over again over the last couple of days, including this morning. We had like some, some crazy volatility. We had a couple of days of like consolidation right around the uh, 3820 area. And then just like, bam, at like nine o'clock this morning, nine o'clock central around 1530 universal, bam, we broke out. Uh, up into the like actually like the high was 3890 almost 3900 um, and then we kind of just had a, some wild volatility for for a couple of hours and then it's just settling down right now but um, but I'm you know I'm gonna keep an eye on that and you know if anything crazier than this happens I'll try to come back on um, I don't have anything else uh, for you guys today uh, time now is 104 p.m. Name of the podcast is called Block Squawk. I put it on YouTube. My name is Joel Benavides. You can follow me on Twitter, right there, at Joel Benavides on Twitter. Uh, and I'd be happy to, to interact with you. Um, just trying to document my own journey and, uh, and learn a little bit about markets since it's something that has always fascinated the fuck out of me. So, I mean, this is cool, guys. Like, this is amazing shit. But that's all I have time for today. Uh, hit me up on Twitter if you need anything. Uh, I am also on Telegram occasionally, on uh, Whale Club, Whale Pool, SA Bitcoin and Crypto, uh, Pine Scripters, uh, just a couple of places, TT Crypto. So uh, that's going to be it. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. Cheers.